approaching his 1,257 career American Hockey League game. Surpassing so three matters for the most games coach ever in American Hockey League history. Matt Tennyson giving to De Silva on the left side. Good little give and go with Tennyson. A backhander tip. They score. It hit Cade Fairchild's stick and goes through the legs of Louis Doming. And he'll play the puck deep again for Worcester. Now turned over by Melindy in front to Oleksik, shot, they score! Oleksik with the shot, it touched something in front, and with 11-16 to go in the first period, Worcester is ahead 2-0. Hit Shinnam to the skate, now Stahlberg, a chance and a save by Grosnick. And now with it, Lesio, top of the circles, he shoots again, that one tipped wide. Left wing, looking for a little help, leaves it for Lesio, streaking down the left wing, and he lost the handle on the puck as Doherty was back in the play, kind of hooked him a little bit, and then Doherty fell into the goal, loses the handle on this one, and out comes Mealy, able to get around to Mello, and he's gonna take a penalty for taking a swat at him, is the pass by Mealy to Yip, didn't make it. Doming handles behind the net, able to give to Fairchild. Cade Fairchild left it behind the net, nobody there, but Teal Sweaters as the pass got deflected away. Now a slapper by Abitzhauser. Stopped that time by Doming. Able to knock it back to Swartz. Gloves down in front to Carey. Shot! That one just wide. Now with it is Shinneman at the right point. Shinneman circling around. He's got it. Side of the right circle. Shinneman in front to Carey. Backhander is sticked aside by the knob of the stick there by Grosnick. Back in front. Loose across the crease. Nobody can get it for Portland. And Chad Rao is able to get the clear. Will take the puck here from Bono in front to Yip, and a great save again by Grosnick. And he will cover up as Portland beginning to get a lot of good chances here in the last few minutes. But Troy Grosnick is off the outside of the goal. Vianensky settles with four seconds to go in the period. Knocked away by Reeder. Pellick through traffic and scores. Matt Pellick through a screen, beats Doming with just 1.5 seconds to go. Drops for, uh, for Yip, but it was poked away by Abitzhauser. And then Conrad Abitzhauser got tripped up and a penalty coming on Portland. Mealy, Andy Mealy left circle. Mealy dangling with it, gives to Reeder. Reeder reels in, backhander, save, rebound, loose, Swartz, shot, he scores! Now wait, hold on, the light came on for a moment as not sure here if this is going to be a good goal or not. And it looks like there won't be a goal here. Grosnick somehow held this out. As De Silva is tripped up, and that will be a penalty against Portland. Bounded backward, now turned over. Martinook's got it. Jordan Martinook weaving to the goal. Backhander is just wide. He beat Grosnick with the shot, but it wasn't on goal. Lesio plays in. Now Lesio with the puck, left circle shot, save. Grosnick, he doesn't know where it is, it's behind him and it's in the goal! The Portland Pirates will get on the board here as Lucas Lesio is able to break the shot past Grosnick and into the goal. Side of the left circle, gets it in front to Reeder, going back door, shot, tip, and it's just wide rebound, stuffed in by Mealy! Andy Mealy with the goal! A power play goal with 4.01 to go in the second period, and the Pirates have scored two very quickly, and they now trail by just one at 3-2. to two. DeMello lifts it on the glass, and it will get out. Here's Hayes with a lot of speed. He's going to get a breakaway. Uriah Hayes in, and he scores. Uriah Hayes through the legs on Chris Rawlings. Rawlings handles it behind his own goal. Chris Rawlings gives the puck to Fairchild. He lost it along the end boards. Ryland Schwartz cranks it off the outside of the goal. Vianensky tried with a short handed chance to save. Rebound, another save by Rawlings there as he's able to stop the second one. Playing that one up ahead to Drzinski, trying to split the deep puck. Rolled away from him though, and Pellick. Was able to knock it away, and now Pelik a hard hit on Derzinski, knocking him down. And it looks like we've got a penalty here against the Sharks. Child at the left point, Reeder, top of the right circle, able to get it to Mealy, left circle in front. Alessio, his shot is stopped by Grosnick, diving out to stop that one with the glove. No, oh, left circle, Martinook dragging behind the net to Darian Derzinski. He absorbed a hit from Tennyson. Tennyson actually got the worst of it. Back the other way, hard comes Schmidt. Adam Schmidt to the goal, there's a save by 
Rawlings, and a big one there. Into the offensive zone, giving to Kennedy down the right side. Kennedy fanned on a shot, but he was hooked, and we'll get a penalty for Worcester here with 11.29 to go in the third period. Carey tried to play back in, but played it right into the skates of some Worcester players. Turned over in front, Kennedy caught with a high stick, and we're going to get a penalty again. It'll be a five on three as Carey shoveled a backhander wide in the middle of all that as it is still being tied up there. Now squirts in front, Mealy gives to Fairchild, and he put it over top of the goal with a wide open look. Now in the left corner, Mealy, Kennedy side of the left circle, minute 15 to go. Mealy out front to Melindy, one timer deflects in, it's a goal! I think it was off a Worcester defenseman, so this will be the second goal for James Melindy. An extra attacker goal with a minute 11 left. And Portland's down by one at four to three. Worcester looking to clear, they will. Maybe a two on one for the empty net to Silva across the curds, blocked by Jones. Now back out front, Rao tries and they score. Chad Rao with the empty net goal on the second attempt. And with 46.9 seconds to go, Worcester ahead, 5-3.